Hello everyone, Jason is back here again with another Hearts of Iron 4 modding tutorial. So today we're going to be doing um, events. So I'm just going to get us started here. So make your way to your uh, events folder in the Hearts of Iron 4 from the um, Steam one. So once you're in events, you want to go to the so Union text file. And so we're just going to copy all of this up until here. And now we're just going to go into our events folder and make a new text folder called, well, it can be called whatever you want. I'm just going to call it tutorial for the tutorial's sake. Uh, also, this, I'm kind of expecting you to have already like a modded country made, which you can look up a tutorial or I can make another tutorial if you guys want me to do that with an entire, like uh, making an entire country. It's pretty simple. I made my country in about five five or so minutes five to ten minutes it's pretty easy so once you get that just paste that in there and uh next what you can do with that is now we can um change this add namespace to whatever your country's name is so my country's name is tutorial so i'm gonna name it tutorial then uh we want to change the id to whatever our country name is, and then dot one, and then every time you make a new tutorial, you want to name it dot one, dot two, dot three, and so forth. And so we want to change this to tutorial also, and we also want to change the description to tutorial. Uh, after that, we can change the picture. So this is the little picture that comes with it. So I'm just going to use uh, the this GFX one right here that I have which is the Chinese Soldier March one. You can also find these if you go into your uh, Steam folder. You can also go into GFX and then the uh, event pictures and you can find all of the events here, which is nice. All right, so if we go back to the events right here. So we can see this and uh, now what we can do is we can delete this because we don't need that and we can also change the name so the name here is sovia.1.a we can change that to because uh, this is the options this is for when uh, you have like multiple decisions or just a single decision so if an event pops up this is what you this is the button that you click on so we're just going to name this war it is because ours is going to be about war with uh, countries so now you can change the AI chance this is how likely the AI is supposed to um, is going to trigger this so they're going to choose this option 75% of the time so we're just going to change that to 100 just for simplicity and uh, we don't want to do the political power thing but we're going to change that to uh, declare underscore war underscore on equals and then brackets because ours, what we're trying to do here is, uh, for ours, we're going to be declaring war on Italy, because my country is uh, in Corsica, which is just the generic number one for France. It's in Corsica. I'm not really sure why, but that's how they did it, so I'm going to just use that. So now we're going to make our target country, so target equals ITA, I'm going to put it on all caps, which is Italy, and we're also going to do... Uh, type and this is the type of war that we want and we're gonna just type in annex underscore everything and now we can close this and um, now we can just take away this hidden effect since we don't really need that and we can also take away the uh, effect tooltip because we don't need either of those and then this is if you want another thing to pop up so uh, we can we can either, you can either delete this or do it. I'm just going to do this for the tutorial sake also. So I'm going to call this uh, tutorial.1.b. And the I chance I'll put 0% since the other one is that. And um, we can delete this and change that to declare underscore war underscore on. Target France and type uh, 
up and fix everything. Okay. So those are the two options. Uh, I'll just change the name to uh, we need Italy for this one. And oh my bad. That's not what I want. And we need So these are the two options that we're going to have. We're going to have one where it says we need all of Italy or we need all of France, but it's triggered. So now we're under the, um, under where it says is trigger only, we're going to put some spaces in there and we're going to type in trigger equals and then open bracket. And we're going to type in tag equals, this is my uh, country ID, you might have a different one, but TUT is for tutorial, which is mine. Uh, so put tag, I'm going to put tag, sorry about that. I was wondering why that looked weird. So now we're also going to put an and, which means that if you have, so that means it's going to be whatever your country is, and also whatever you put here, so we're going to put uh, date greater than 1936.2.1. So this means that if the, gr if the date is greater than uh, February 1st, it, this event will be, will happen. And so, I'm also going to put this on here, which you don't have to do, and this means that uh, it's going to be me and underscore time, underscore two, underscore happen, and that equals days equals seven. So what this does is it will, whenever your event, or whenever the event triggers, it'll happen seven days after. So, if everything happens for the event, so the dates after February uh, February 7th, or February 1st, my bad, and we are the country of Totoro, then this event is possible to happen. So we're just going to save this. Uh, now next what we want to do is we want to go into our localization folder and go to our events. And so uh, I'm just going to copy just a random one, so we're just going to co copy uh, this one. And we're gonna go down here all the way to the bottom. Uh, I make a few of these uh, pound signs just so that it like tells me where I'm at. It doesn't really do anything, but just so it lets me know. So I'm gonna name this tutorial dot one dot t because that's what ours is really called. And we're gonna name this uh, uh, war with Billy. And now we're gonna paste this again and then change this to tutorial. Dot one dot dot uh, d because this is the description and it says we're just gonna make this we we need to declare war on Italy or France and now we're gonna save that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch our game. Ignore the name. It's just because I already have one of these, but then I cleared my user directory. So you want to make sure you have your mod selected. Then you're gonna click play. I'm hoping this is gonna capture it. If it doesn't, I'm gonna do some settings and stuff. But it's just loading the game right now. So when this loads, I'm gonna go into the country. I also don't have. Uh, like the debug settings or anything on like that because I didn't really need them on. So hopefully, sorry about this. It's really laggy, so I'm gonna switch it over to the Arsenal 401, which I hope captures. Oh. There we go. That's a bit weird. It's because I have a different resolution monitor right now, so it's trying to catch up. Alright, so now this is my country right here. It's the world. So we're gonna start it. And once it loads. So usually what would happen is you'd wait till February 2nd, or February 1st, my bad, and then the event will trigger. But for now, we're just gonna type in uh, event uh, tutorial.1, and that'll trigger this. Oh, I, I, I messed this up. I meant to. Uh, 
put underscores with excellent foot spaces. So I'll fix that later. But, um, so this means that if we choose if we choose this option, this means we declare war on Italy, and if we choose this option, we declare war on France. So if we declare war on Italy now, now we just declared war on Italy. So now we're against Italy. And if we trigger the event again, we do this one, now we're at war with France. So You can also do this in the um, uh, uh, national focus, my bad, where you can make it so that whenever you finish doing it, so like some of these might have it like I'm not really sure, I don't really remember which national focus has it but uh, certain will have like certain events so like Anschluss right here will have a certain event it'll say that the effect is Austria gets Germans press for Anschluss which is Austria getting an event and that's how you could do it here too which is kind of like the, uh, the one that I took from here which I don't remember what at I think it's this one. I'm not, I don't really remember. But but yeah, that's about all I'm gonna do for this tutorial. If you guys want the national focus one or how to do more national focus um, trees or a whole tutorial on a country and stuff like that, let me know down in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. Hope I can see you all in my next video.